Hello. In the finals with blue-white artifacts, <laughs> and our opponent's down to five, so we're on the play, and our opponent's down to five. They're um, down to four, and they're keeping. And that's <laughs> that's pretty rough, but this is a weird format where a lot of crazy stuff can happen. Uh, let's just get this burning rage started. The the rage is pretty uh, pretty slight right now, but it's gonna grow. It will grow. And why not? Let's get out of Vidalcan shackles just before they can deal with it. Blue black. This might be reanimator, and in that case, they could just win with their their two card combo if they find it. So, what to do? Well, we can make it a little more difficult for them with this Lodestone Golem. And I'm going to play Black Lotus because why not? There might be a world in which we shrine or even shackles this turn. Alright, here's something. Artifact, or are they trying to cast something that they can't? We'll see. If they couldn't play it last turn, and it's not an artifact, yeah, I guess it's unlikely they play it this turn. Oh no. I'm just imagining Hercules Recall, or... I don't think that's in the cube, but it would wreck us pretty badly. More likely, it is a combo piece that they have part of, or just removal for a Lodestone Golem. And we still have one and a half threats, even if they get rid of the golem. But it does make their life easier. Okay. Glenolendra. Hmm. No reason to play the planes over the factory here. So let's just get in with five. And take some more damage down to whatever. Uh, you know what? I think we have to use Black Lotus here because I want to keep up blue. Then again, we could just keep up the blue with Black Lotus. No, I I'm gonna I'm gonna use this. That keeps up two uses of Glenelendra, and it doesn't. You know, we don't have to fiddle around with um, having to counter two things in the same phase. Okay, so that was rough on our opponent and a very good start for us. I'm assuming this is Reanimator, which makes Declaration in Stone more appealing. Anything else? It might make some cards worse. Whoops, what are we doing? Um, it's going to be Grizzlebrand or something where Maloko and Exalted Angel just don't do anything against. There is an argument for Leon and Relic Order, since it could be an artifact creature. We didn't see any of those, and someone must have gotten them. Bribery is going to be good. Cloudscape could be strong. Uh, Elspeth is pretty good. What is weak? Dismember is weak, right? Yeah, I'm not sure that does what we need it to do. So I prefer Declaration to Stone, or Declaration in Stone to Dismember. Maybe Vidalcan Shackles is weak, and Dismember at least hits um, some things. But who knows? Yeah, another fine looking hand. It's not amazing, and our opponent's already down to six. Yeah, th this gives us a bit of a a fast start, so we can go turn one, colonnade, and follow it up with whatever. And they're down to five again. Oh no. This might be the fastest finals. It's still scary though. I mean if they're if they're looking to assemble a two card combo and mulliganing for it, they might have just found it. Uh, which means 
That's Bail Abbey, gosh. We could hold Caracas up. I don't think they're going to have that turn to combo play. It's not like they can play channel unless they have a uh, Mox plus Forest. Yeah, we'll just pass it back. But Caracas is very good in this matchup, potentially. Lightning Greaves. Well, we'll just have to hit it before they equip. Oh, this is so awkward. I don't want to get rid of the island, but I think it's right here. I think Westvale Abbey is stronger than island. And we do have plenty of islands left in case we ever find the, the one card we have that works with islands. All right, pass it back. They're saying, no, not Caracas. The, the card that hoses our entire deck. At least they know to play around it now. And usually there's a there's an effect that... Um, or a creature in this deck that isn't affected by Caracas. A lot of the big artifact creatures aren't legendary. But if it's all Emrakuls and Grizzlebrands, then they're in worse shape. Discard two cards or an artifact card. I think we can get rid of Winter Orb safely. This isn't the type of deck that is punished too hard by a Winter Orb. Our opponent's deck, that is. Um, I want to leave Caracas up for the rest of the game. So next turn it's going to be Solemn, hold Caracas up, and the turn after it'll be Glenelendra and hold a couple things up. We, we might have a one-turn window here, but I'm not going to risk it. Show and tell? Oh boy. Oh no. That's, that's super interesting. What do we put in? I guess Solemn, because it kind of ramps us. Progenitus? Well, we're dead in two turns. Use this ability, yeah. Let's use it. <laughs> oh man, yeah, that two card combo kind of got us here. Um, yeah, what can we do about that? Destroy all creatures with power four or greater. That beats this, right? Yeah, I think it gets around it because one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, it totally does. Oh my gosh. Thank you, Elspeth. We don't have to play around days. The only card that could get us is Force of Will here. Oh man, they're, they're going to concede immediately. This is just too bad. We'll go back into their deck. That was rough. Oh wow. Saved by the one card that, that beats, I mean, Wrath of God works well too. But thanks for watching. That was kind of a strange tournament.